Okay, thank you very much for coming to this uh, presentation on the online aircraft safety information system. Um, just to put this presentation in perspective, what I'm going to be showing you is a vision of a concept for the type of information we would like to be able to provide to uh, the states, the contracting states of ICAO and their staff so that they can perform their obligations with respect to the convention. So I want to start here um, from reality and I'll present to you a scenario of a real safety problem that might perhaps uh, be required to solve almost on a daily basis. And that is that somewhere in the world there is an airplane on the ground and an inspector that needs to know who is operating it and what's the history of this particular aircraft. Now the states that are uh, contracting states of ICAO have actually agreed to share data through ICAO that helps this inspector figure out the answers to the question. And so the point here is what data is there that helps this inspector and where can we find it? So in the data that ICAO collects that this inspector uh, would find useful, we have currently the AOC and the aircraft registry databases. These are databases that require password and user login to get into and are currently only shared by the states, uh, between the states. Now the AOC and aircraft registry will give the inspector on the ground some idea of who is flying and what they are flying. But if you think about it, that's not all the inspector really needs to know. There were states who issued the registry and states that issued the certificate and ICAO has relevant information on the competency of the states to issue those certificates and registry. That is through our uh, Universal Safety Oversight Audit Program. Currently this data does exist, however, would need to log in, this inspector would need to log in into a different site to retrieve this information. Now knowing what ICAO knows ab about the uh, aircraft and the people who issued the certificates is one thing, but states also have a lot of other uh, safety data that is tied to the aircraft through uh, the aircraft type designator. So everything from the wake turbulence separation requirements all the way to the airworthiness directives that might be out there on other people's sites. So the key here is that ICAO has data that could help the, uh, the inspector find that information wherever it may be in the, in the network. And in accordance with the uh, updated AOC uh, data required, we will also start to be collecting operational specifications and the details of what we're actually collecting can be found in our annexes. So what I've shown you here is how different elements of data are all relevant to the inspector on the ground and how ICAO should find a way for allowing this data to flow s seamlessly out of our systems into the uh, uh, safety inspector's tool set and so that he can get what we might refer to as intelligence, although I'll be the first one to admit this is a relatively um, generous use of the word intelligence. The OASIS itself, therefore, consists of data that exists and of systems that exist. So the real effort behind OASIS, the real vision behind OASIS is not so much to collect data. It is to find a service, find a way of delivering a service to the inspector on the ground. And so we use the term safety tool to, uh, to indicate that we are taking existing data, existing tools, and repackaging it into a service that is of value to the, uh, the state and its inspectors. Of course, once we have all of this data, the question is, well, what else can this data be used for? And I'm going to take you through a scenario, and I want you to take, uh, keep two or three things in mind as I go through the scenario. First one is, ICAO will never have operational data. And it is not, ICAO is not designed nor are we mandated to have operational data. We have data 
uh, on operators and on operational issues, mainly to ensure that the safety practitioners out there can do their job. So I'm going to show you a scenario here, which is a vision for us in Oasis, uh, that drives us to constantly think: What else can we? Uh, how else can we make? Um, uh, how, how else can we derive value-added services to these safety uh, practitioners? Every flight begins with a flight plan, and when you fill out the flight plan, you're providing information into the system, into many systems, and every day or every month, the number of different systems that use a flight plan actually increases. So I'm going to start this scenario with the flight plan itself, and I've drawn an arbitrary route on the map to say, of course, that you got an airline or aircraft that is going to fly this route. Well, if it feeds this information into our data environment, then what Oasis should be able to provide the uh, aircraft operators is the data relevant to this flight path that ICAO holds. So that goes all the way from the safety oversight data that contains things such as the significant safety concerns or the uh, differences and the uh, findings found by uh, our USO program. But it also can look into the air navigation plans and look at the data in there to see if there is anything that should be brought to the attention of the operator. Again, this is not operational data. The operator needs to take this and then uh, do his validation to make sure before he uses it for operational purposes. However, right now this information exists, but that we don't have a way of providing this in in a in a e efficient manner to the safety practitioner. Of course, the operator is not the only one who could get data. We have the on, on the one side, on the aerodrome side, and on the ground side, we have the ground inspectors that I mentioned before, but we also have the ANS providers and the air traffic controllers. And so, in this case, we could, use, we could use OASIS to provide these safety practitioners with information such as the aircraft uh, information, the registry, the state of registry, the history of the aircraft, but also once we get the operational specifications, some data on performance. And we are already collecting, or the international, we do collect uh, aircraft and operational performance mainly through our regional monitoring agencies. Uh, but there is data out there that should be available to the people responsible for safety so that they have the fullest picture they can have. And I would like to stress this point once again. It is not operational data. It's data to assist people in performing their safety tasks. So thank you for letting me introduce to you the vision and the concepts behind OASIS. OASIS still is a vision and a concept. We will be launching OASIS uh, in the early parts of 2012, but uh, based on this vision and this concept, we will be in contact with all the 